Welcome to the Verify Pipeline Execution 14.1 kickoff. My name is Jackie Porter, Interim Product Manager for the Pipeline Execution Group here at GitLab. As a reminder, this group is responsible for GitLab CI, such as pipelines, pipeline processing, uh, and other great features to deal with the pipeline's experience, uh, as well as the category of merge trains. I'm joined here by the PE product designer, Vitika. And in 14.1, we'll be delivering some incredible features that will help our users begin to see a return on investment uh, with GitLab, which is uh, seen in the foundation of CI minutes. Vitika will dive into some of the UX priorities that she has on her docket that will shape our user experience uh, as we begin to co combat things like pipeline abuse, as well as update us on some of the work that she has uh, related to variables. Vitika? Sure, thanks, Jackie. Um, so in the previous kickoff video, we touched upon how we were going to conduct a UX scorecard exercise um, on variables. And the jobs to be done that we had selected was controlling the scope for CICD variables. So I just wanted to um, let you all know that we are through with the exercise and we spoke to about five users and we have some really good findings at hand. And using those findings, we, we would now work on um, putting together a proposal for redesigning uh, the experience with variables. This is going to be a really cool scope. Uh, we actually are going to be transitioning over variables to pipeline authoring, which is uh, kind of sad, but also will be really great for our users, given that pipeline authoring experience uh, is related to the variables controlling of pipeline permissions. Uh, so this will definitely not be a wasted effort. Uh, and that'll be a great uh, transition point for, for that team. Thank you so much for that overview. Um, as mentioned in the introduction, one of the uh, themes and overarching concepts is this uh, CI minutes initiative that we'll be taking on. And uh, one of our investments is related to uh, a new monthly mechanism for CI minutes usage to ensure a consistent experience for tracking CI minute quotas for our users. We aren't experiencing to be a disruption in the current user experience as we're reusing the same patterns, although we are expecting to fix some of the inconsistencies in the old system, such as uh, this bug that we'll be also investing in, uh, which is a um, a correct addition of the CI minutes so that the notification thresholds that are enabled um, inside of CI minutes are correct. This focus on CI minutes will empower our users to effectively see how their consumption is progressing and manage their accounts correctly. Uh, Vitika will now walk us through some of the design priorities that we're taking on in 14.1. Thanks, Jackie. Um, yeah. This is the first issue that I would be talking about. And um, so recently there has been a requirement from our users that they want to identify the projects that have been consuming um, like the most CI minutes. So in this issue, we would be providing sort of a, an MVC solution to this problem. So we would allow them to now um, download the list of projects along with the CI minutes consumed in CSV format so that they are able to um, exported to spreadsheets and they could apply filters and sorting and other criteria that they want to. Yes, this one. So removing user access to shared runners. Um, there has been a request to add a capability to block access to shared runners, um, GitLab CI for a particular user without blocking their account level access. And that's what we'd be working on uh, on this issue. As mentioned earlier in the introduction, a big piece of pipeline abuse prevention is being able to granularly control our user access to different components of, of CI. Uh, this is a great entry point for our users in preventing abuse, but also controlling legitimate user access. So I'm really excited to see how you design this experience, Vitika. Yeah. Now, moving to the last one. Which is, yeah, uh, recently we had provided this workflow for uh, validation of credit card when users would um, be using GitLab CI for the first time. Um, so now what one thing that we missed was the banner was not dismissible until now. So this is what, something that we would be um, like 
uh, you, through this issue, we'd make sure that the banners are dismissible and users could just close it and continue with the uh, their workflow, which is not related to GitLab CI. Thank you so much for that overview, Vitika. I'm really excited for some of your design priorities in 14.1. I think you're working on some high priority initiatives related to pipeline abuse, and I'm excited to see about some of the uh, design proposal around variables. I think that that will be a really rich experience that pipeline authoring will get to work on. 14.1 uh, is going to definitely be the best release ever for us. Thank <laughs> you.